No, this isn't rocket science. It's mad science, ladies and gentlemen. NASA <laughs> is blowing $3 million of your hard-earned money to figure out how to lobby Congress. I kid you not. So why do the brainiacs who put men on the moon need $3 million to figure out how Congress works, Rich? Well, you know, NASA just doesn't capture the public's imagination as it once did, and it's uncertain about its future. This is sort of a ridiculous request. You know, why don't you pay, you know, Harrison Ford to be the head of NASA and bring some <laughs> glamour and glitz back in? I love it. That's a great hey. idea. Bruce, what do you think about this? Well, I'm a little bit surprised by this because uh, the Obama administration has reduced spending on NASA and even and reallocated money toward technology rather than a few years ago. They said that they were going to give up the idea of sending a man on the moon and outsource right. it to the private sector. So this is really surprising. <laughs> so, Emac, even when you reduce, as Bruce said, the money that goes to NASA, this is where they decide yeah. to spend the money. And, David, you know, you make a great point. Clearly, there's too much artificial, artificial intelligence in government. If you think you need to teach a rocket scientist, scientist how to lobby, that's like teaching cows how to move. Uh, <laughs> Mike, what do you think? I, I, I don't know. My takeaway from this is remember this incident the next time any politician says they need a tax increase. A tax increase. <laughs> or Sabrina. I mean, every branch of politics, from the president to John Boehner, have said they're for cutting government waste. Well, if this isn't waste, I don't know what is. Right. And first of all, I wouldn't use Harrison Ford. I would use Sandra Bullock. But yeah, if, I mean, government's already in the business of health care, <laughs> the business of green energy, the business of education. Now they're going to be in the business of lobbying. This makes my head spin. I feel like we're on an episode of The Daily Show. Yeah. Sandra Rich. Bullock spinning out into space because they can't get... Rich, who is for Sandra Bullock playing that part, by the way, head of NASA. Uh, Rich, doesn't this just show that you just, the only way to stop waste is just to lower the size of government, period? You have to, you know, and uh, it really, uh, private space travel is going to be the thing. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, that's where all the action is going yeah. forward. Never but you know what? We have a consumer protection. Yeah. We have now a federal consumer protection agency. Where's the federal taxpayer protection agency? Well, that's a, good, that's a good thought, but I'm, I'm wondering about Rich's point, Rick, uh, Mike. What about just getting rid of NASA? Let the private sector do it. Mm -hmm. I think uh, space exploration is very important. I think when Reagan was president, you had his brilliant Pebbles project. We yielded a lot of great technology for that. But this is something out of a Tony Soprano episode. It's taking money and then teaching, <laughs> forcing somebody to pay money to get it back. I, I wouldn't go this way. All right. And, and forgive us, Tony Soprano, because it's not, you know, you're much better than they ever were. Coming up, a rough week for stocks, to say the least.